Hi, this is Mike. In this video we're going to have a look at how we can extend the um, previous video I did about consuming um, the Power BI, uh, Power BI API and use the same approach to consume the, the Graph API and interact with um, some of the Office 365 and Azure AD type of state. So, um, in the sample we've got a receive location which is going to receive a, a message from file uh, from disk which is a very simple message just to trigger the process that message is going to be collected by this um, send port which is going to send to the graph API which is going to execute the me API within that so that will let me extract some information about about who I am and what my um, what my sort of access and, and metadata is now in order to, to um, access the Graph API I'm going to use the same application in Azure AD that we configured for the previous video so that was called our Power BI test app and we had the client ID which is going to be referenced from our BizTalk send port and this time I've um, got configured the Office 365 Unified API and I've got um, some pr uh, permissions set up here for authentication against this application will delegate a whole bunch of permissions so quite a lot of them there but um, for the purposes of the demo I only really need to find out who I am so um, next if we have a look at how we've configured the send port in BizTalk so we're using the WCF Web HTTP send port it's a two-way solicit response port and in addition to the service URI here we're also going to specify that it's a get method well because it's HTTPS we're going to specify the transport security and because it's a get method again we're going to suppress the message body now the bit um, the bit that does the authentication against Azure AD is the same WCF behavior extension we used in the last video so again we've got our client ID so we're authenticating against the same application but this time we're asking for permission to access the Graph API from Microsoft I've also got my credentials specified here in the send port so this, this lets me use a server to server type scenario where I'm using a service account to access that API We've got the um, send port filter or, or the filter configured to listen to messages coming from that receive port and we're basically ready to execute the scenario now. So if we um, if we go and have a look in the um, in the test location, so we'll just check we've got no messages in the output folder and I can pick the trigger message, drop it in the input folder and I can see very quickly I get my response message here which gives me a whole bunch of information that comes from the Graph API to tell me about who I am and what some of my permissions and services are and you know you can see um, that gives me quite a lot of information there but with um, with this approach although I've consumed the the me service I can kind of use any any part of that Graph API now using the same authentication approach it's really just a question of um, which API do I want to call and crafting the right JSON to be able to call that service so hopefully that really quick video demonstrated how we've reused that WCF behavior extension to be able to call a different service that's um, authenticated against Azure AD and hopefully this should give us a really great way to be able to reuse this component for a whole bunch of APIs that we might now hook into Azure AD